Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says AC and BD are chords of a circle which bisect each other. Prove that first AC and BD are diameters and second that ABCD is a rectangle. So let us see what is given to us in the question. We are given a circle. Then we are given two chords AC and BD such that they bisect each other. That means AO is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. Now we have to prove that AC and BD they are the diameters of this circle. So we start with the solution. We see the solution to the first part. First of all we join AB, BC, CD and AD. Now we see that in triangle AOB and triangle COD that means this triangle and this triangle OA is equal to OC that we have seen because AC and BD they bisect each other so this is equal to this secondly we see that OB is equal to OD And we see that the angle enclosed between these two sides, that means angle AOB is equal to angle COD. Because these are vertically opposite angles. So vertically opposite angles are equal. So we see that by side angle side criterion we have triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD since these two triangles are congruent therefore AB is equal to CD And this we get by CPCT that means corresponding parts of congruent triangles and we know that they are also equal. Since AB is equal to CD therefore arc AB is equal to arc CD is equal to arc CD. Similarly For triangles AOD and BOC, we have arc AD is equal to arc BC. We name this 1 and this 2. So, from 1 and 2 we have arc AB plus arc AD is equal to arc CD plus arc BC that means arc AB plus arc AD is equal to arc BC plus arc CD or we can say that arc BAD is equal to arc BCD. This implies that BD divides or bisects the circle into two parts. Divides the circle into two parts. This implies that BD is a diameter. And on the similar notes, we can prove that AC is also a diameter. So by this, we have proved the first part of the question. Now, let us see the solution to second part of the question. Now, we have to show that 
ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल सो हेयर वी हैव टू शो दैट एंगल डी ए बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी डी ए एंड ईच ऑफ देम इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री सो इफ यू प्रूव दिस एंड वी कैन इजिली प्रूव दैट ए बी सी डी इज अ रेक्टेंगल सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द प्रूफ नाउ we already have that triangle aob is congruent to triangle cod and this we have proved in the first part of the question since these are the two congruent triangles therefore angle ocd will be equal to angle oab angle ocd will be equal to angle oab being the corresponding parts of congruent triangles similarly we have that triangle boc is congruent to triangle aod so for the same reason we will have that angle a angle dao is equal to angle ocb so similarly angle dao is equal to angle ocb now if we clearly see then these are the two lines intersected by a transversal such that the pair of alternate angles are equal therefore these two lines will be parallel to each other we can say that ab is parallel to cd and bc is parallel to a d since we have this that ab is parallel to cd and bc is parallel to ad this implies that abcd is a cyclic parallelogram now since this is a cyclic parallelogram therefore angle dab is equal to angle bcd because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal also since this is a cyclic parallelogram therefore angle dab plus angle bcd is equal to 180 degree because we see that in a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles this sum up to 180 degree and we have already proved that since this is a parallelogram therefore its opposite angles will be equal so angle dab is equal to angle bcd is equal to half of 180 degree so we can say that angle dab is equal to angle bcd is equal to 180 degree by 2 and that is equal to 90 degree so we have proved that angle dab is equal to angle bcd is equal to 90 degree similarly we can prove that angle cba is equal to angle adc is equal to 90 degree hence abcd is a rectangle so i hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session have a good day